What does couscous taste like? Oh, couscous, the tiny little grain that causes big confusion. Is it a grain? Is it pasta? Let's not get too bogged down in the semantics and instead focus on what really matters. What does it taste like? Firstly, couscous is as much a chameleon in the kitchen as tofu is in the realm of vegan cuisine. On its own, it has a mild, slightly nutty flavor, but it's bland enough to make it the ultimate culinary canvas. It's like that plain white t-shirt in your wardrobe. You can dress it up with a snazzy blazer or dress it down with a pair of worn-in jeans. Now imagine I'm in Portland, Oregon, cooking up some couscous as a base for a delightful dish. Perhaps it's a Tuesday. Why not? The beauty of couscous is that it's a quick fix. We're talking about a five-minute turnaround from just add boiling water to fluffy, cloud-like grains ready to absorb whatever goodness you want to throw at it. Go Moroccan, and you can jazz it up with raisins, almonds, and a dash of cinnamon to create a sweet and savory side that will make your taste buds dance. Take it Mediterranean with fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, a sprinkle of feta, and a squeeze of lemon for a refreshing salad. Or keep it super simple and use it as a bed for a hearty stew, letting it soak up all those lovely juices. The magic of couscous rests in its versatility. It takes on the flavors of the ingredients you pair it with, much like pasta or rice. But unlike those, it's ready in a jiffy, making it an urban warrior's weeknight staple. So, what does couscous taste like? Like the best understudy you've ever encountered. It works in harmony with its co-stars, absorbing their essence while contributing its subtle, grainy texture to the mix, making the overall experience something quite delightful. Head to your kitchen, grab some couscous, and experiment away. Who knows, you might just create the next hit on your dinner menu. And when you do, remember that simplicity is often the gateway to a meal that satisfies both the palate and the soul. Enjoy the little things, or in this case, the little grains.